What's up guys, we're back with another Gundam Universe review, taking a look at a suit from a series that, as of yet, has not been included in this line. We're taking a look at the Exia from Gundam 00. Now, I have never actually finished this series. I've started it and I just, I can't get through it, but I love this design. I love a lot of the designs that come out of this show, so I'm still really excited uh, to take a look at this guy. He, of course, comes in the standard style packaging for the Gundam Universe line. You've got a blue and white motif that goes along with this suit. Really nice shot of artwork there on the front. Oddly shaped window showcasing the figure within, and then you've got the name running down one side. You've got a product shot running down the other, and then the back of the box gives you a nice spread of how this guy moves, some of the stuff he comes with, as well as a cross-sell for the other two figures in this wave, the Heavy Arms and the Freedom. So let's do it. Let's pull them out and take a look. And here we go, out of the package, our Exia from Gundam 00. Again, a, a suit that I like, but from a series that I've never really been able to finish. And I'm not sure why. I'll, I'll, I'll probably try again sooner rather than later. But I've never been able to sit through this uh, show all the way through. But I do really like a lot of the suit designs that come out of it. Uh, this one in particular, it's it's got a very uh, sort of, I don't know, agile and thinner design. It's, you know, it just looks a little more lithe in some ways. Uh, so it's different. It doesn't have some of the massive, massive tree trunk legs that some suits have. And it's a little bit on the, I don't know, I don't want to say skimpy side, but it's a little bit, uh, you know, just a little bit more tight than some suits, which is, which is kind of cool. It's, it's, it's its own thing in many ways. Uh, it is still pretty similar to a lot of other figures when it comes to this line, and probably not too surprising. So we've got a head that can look up pretty good. It can look down a little bit too. You've got your bobble side to side. Uh, this is actually a little bit more mobile than usual because the neck inside of here is actually moving with it. So you've got rotation also. Your arms go out at the shoulders. Now this is going to be a common thing. So we'll talk about this here in a minute with that popping off. Arms go out at the shoulders and then they can rotate as well. You do have to watch these things on the back. You've got your bicep swivel. We've got our double jointed uh, elbows, basically, you know, all the way up. And then you've got your ball peg wrist. So up and down a little bit. You do have gauntlets, so that's gonna, gonna hinder them a little bit there, not too much. And then rotation, of course, normal stuff. And then we've got our torso, which it does move a little bit more than most. And I think that has to do with some of the form factor on this figure, just or this suit in general, because it does sort of cinch in uh, there a little bit. So it goes backwards slightly, it goes forwards more than most too. Uh, and then you've got pretty decent tilt here also. And then of course you've got your twist. So not too bad. I mean, it's, it's still not perfect by any means, but it's better than most by uh, quite a margin, honestly. You've got legs that only go out, however, this far. And while a lot of the figures would have uh, skirt pieces, you can even see it shares parts from figures that would have the skirts because there's a hole there for one. This one doesn't have the uh, the side skirts, but it has these canister things that will be used for weapon storage later on, and they just hit. So, you know, it's just the design of the suit is getting in the way of itself. The legs will kick forward about that far. They do feel like they have a lot of resistance because of this sort of V front skirt armor, but you can sort of twist it up and out and it's going to go all the way. And then you've got, I mean, full kickback. I don't know if you're ever going to need that, but you got it. And then we've got twist up there. It's a ball peg for the legs. So you've got a little bit of twist. Legs go backwards pretty good. Sometimes the knees are a little bit hindered in this line and this isn't too bad. I mean, it's still not a full, full double joint, but it's pretty good. And then down at the ankles, we've got uh, tilt forward and backward, which is pretty nice. There's not, again, they don't have, for this suit, the same sort of huge tree trunk legs and especially feet. So there's not a lot really getting in the way. So you've got a, a lot of tilt forward and backward. And then you do have pretty solid rocker. You've got full rotation here as well. So it's a pretty decently articulated figure. There is some stuff about this particular design that lends it to being a little bit more mobile, but there's also some stuff here that seems to be just slightly different from others too. It's still very much in line with the, the line, so to speak, but it does also seem to be a little bit of its own thing with a few, I don't know, housekeeping improvements in terms of how this thing can move. 
Aesthetically though, like I said, I do really like this suit just on its own. Like I like the way this suit looks. I like the way this suit is designed. Some of its more slimmer form factor, I think lends itself to being a little bit of a different kind of figure when it comes to this line. There are some definite drawbacks to this figure. They're not huge things. They're, they're nitpicky sort of pet peeve kind of things because there are a number of things that you have to attach to this figure that are, they're not really accessories, but they're things that you have to put on. And of course, I already knocked one of them off earlier. They're, you know, these things on the back here, I, I don't know enough about this suit to know what they are, uh, but they are stuff you have to attach. So you can pop them off and there you go. They stay on pretty well for the most part, but you know, like I showed, moving them the wrong way, you're going to knock one of them off. It's just more of a, it's more of a nitpicky thing. It's not even remotely a big concern, but it's something. Uh, and you're also, you know, you could, I suppose you could glue them on, but then he's never going to go back in the box. So you've got that kind of problem if it matters to you. We've also got uh, the previously mentioned little canister things that stick out on the side. These are multiple pieces. And this is another little one of those kind of nitpicky things. So, you know, a sword is going to eventually go on this, but... It's just very loosely held onto the side of the figure. So you've got the gray part here that pegs into the waist and then the white part that also pegs into that. This is another one of those things that it's just a little nitpicky. Uh, I might end up gluing those on because that's how it comes in the box. So it's, it needs to be there anyway. Uh, but it's just, you know, kind of a word to the wise. You might end up knocking that off as well. Beyond that, you know, some of the, the less important but sort of, you know, annoying aspects of this figure, I think he looks pretty solid. And what that mostly comes down to is just how in many ways this thing is a little bit different from some of the suits we already have. You know, a lot of the suits we have are, well, I mean, a huge chunk of this line is Gundam Wing stuff, and they all very much have their own design aesthetic. This thing is very much different. It's not the same thing. Uh, and, it, and it just looks... I don't know, it looks a little bit more unique in the context of this line. It's still very Gundam in every aspect that telltale blue, yellow, red, white, green color scheme, classic Gundam colors. But I like the proportions on this thing. I like all of this little slightly metallic green because there's a little bit more paint on this guy than, than usual. So you've got those uh, green accents, with, which I do think, you know, break him up and they just, they pop against the white and the blue on this particular design. It's just something a little bit uh, eye-catching in many ways. And then I do just like, again, the tighter, kind of cinched in uh, design when it comes to the waist and then particularly the torso, but it's also still very much a Telltale Gundam thing too. Uh, you still got slightly larger legs and you've got that color scheme. You've also got a very pronounced V fin for the head, but there's something about this head design that, that very much, you know, this is a very anime head design. I don't know a better way to say it based on what I'm thinking right now, but this is a very anime inspired head design. Uh, that sounds really dumb when I say it in the context of this because it's, it's a Gundam. So, you know, but uh, I really like the helmet shape because it really looks like a helmet. It doesn't look like a Gundam head. It looks like a helmet here and it comes across that way. But the, the design, the kind of smooth curvature of the of the head itself rather than being in any way boxy, the massive V and then the green for the eyes and on those uh, panels on the side do really look great. And then, of course, you know, back to this stuff here, he does have a pretty unique back design, too. There's a lot going on on the back side of this figure, just as much as there is on the front, because you've got all this business sticking out the back. You've got uh, its special engine coming out the back. There should be a little bit of paint on that, I think. I really wish there was, you know, at least some of that green, because that's kind of the, the thing for this suit, is to give off that sort of energy. So I do like the way it looks. It does have some annoying aspects to it when it comes to the stuff that you have to put on that can, in many ways, just pop off. But otherwise, it's a cool looking figure and it definitely sort of stands out amongst some of the other suits we've already gotten in this line. Now, as far as accessories goes, uh, the Exia probably has as much, if not more, than most figures in this line. Uh, certainly when it comes to plastic, too. It's got an accessory here that rivals the heavy arms in terms of size. So we've got, uh, to start with, we've got some hands, just to get that out of the way. Uh, fists in the box, you've got your gripping hands. One of them is, of course, a trigger finger hand, and then the other one is a standard gripping hand. And then we've got the, the big accessory. So this is the sword that it uses. And it does have a shield. Uh, this is removable. If you wanted to, you can pop it off. 
but you're probably not going to do that. This is uh, retractable, so you can have it like held and stored back behind the suit, which I think looks great. But then, you know, it's also taller than the figure itself. So it's probably, yeah, it's bigger than the Heavy Arms Gatling gun. Maybe not as much plastic because this is super thin. But this cuts and, uh, no pun intended, a striking pose and just demeanor when it comes to this figure. I do like the modularity of it, especially just to be able to store everything on this figure. I, I like weapon storage. I've said that a million times. So this is cool. Looks really nice. I mean, it's just a massive eye-catching kind of accessory. So you've got that. And then we've got the two blades for the Exe as well. We've got the short, we've got the long. Uh, these are pretty much exactly what you think they are. They are gray-handled, white-bladed swords, and that's about it. These can be stored on the suit. Uh, so that's, you know, I've kind of talked about that already with some of these little pods that it has here on the side. And there's a little notch on it, and you pop it on, and it will store. Well, yeah, like I said, these do tend to pop off. But it'll store in there, and then you can, you know, put it right back on, and it'll, it'll stay on, on the suit. You can have it sort of jutting backwards like that. So you can have all of the, all of all of the weaponry for this guy can be stored on the figure itself. Uh, you can have both blades either in the hands or on these sides, and then this guy can of course be uh, in a hand as well. So you can have a, a combination of of bladed weapons, or you could just have everything sort of stored, and then you know again, like I said, uh, this can be put back, and it's sort of just in its storage mode uh, when it's retracted behind the figure as well. So I do really like that. So there, uh, there is a lot of stuff here, really. Like, it's probably one of the most robust accessories uh, sets when it comes to this line. You know, some figures don't have a lot. This guy does have quite a few. And then especially when it comes to how big and, you know, just modular this thing is. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this guy. Uh, again, he is very much a unique suit in the context of Gundam Universe so far. You know, it's mostly Universal Century, Gundam Wing, with, you know, a taste of other stuff here and there. You know, we've got one G Gundam suit. This is its own thing from its own uh, continuity, everything. So it's a very much different while still being very familiar territory. It has some some pretty cool weaponry, some cool accessories. I love the sword. I mean, it's big. It's very Buster Sword uh, inspired, so I do like that kind of stuff, and I like the fact that you can store all of it on the figure at any given time. Otherwise, the only real thing I have to complain about is that I don't like some of the, the little nitpicky things that I mentioned, like those uh, canisters on the side, the spikes on the back. It's just stuff that can fall off on the figure, which does annoy me, but otherwise, ultimately, it doesn't really detract too much from what is a pretty fun figure otherwise. So that's going to do for this look at the Gundam Universe Exia. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time. <laughs>